Oh yes, uh, good people. Hello there. Uh, so nice to have you again. Good morning. Uh, good uh, afternoon. And good evening. Uh, wherever you are in the world, welcome again to this channel. Uh, so good to have you. Uh, today we're going to speak about uh, the analysis and the design of BIM in Tecla here. Yeah? Uh, when I posted my initial video, if you're keen enough, uh, you, you realize that I didn't do the analysis part. I made an assumption that you already have your moments and the shears you want to design for. And therefore, I didn't do the analysis to get the shears and the bending moments. Uh, a friend then quickly asked me to kindly uh, do a video showing both the analysis and the design parts so that they can follow. Uh, that is exactly what I'm going to do here. So if you are waiting for that, just relax. In a short while, you'll be knowledgeable. Grab a bottle of water and relax. Uh, so just to go straight to it, right? For you to design a beam in Tecla, I've actually opened uh, Tecla software here. I'm sharing my screen. Uh, you have two options you can go to home tab and click new or simply go to file and click new here so that it can take you to the design window well then you have uh, several options which you can choose from right uh, you have just a lot for now we are going to design beams right so you just click beams and uh, we have two options we have a C beam analysis and design option, the one I'm showing here, and we also have RC beam design option. Last time I did RC beam design option, where I made an assumption that you already have your moments and shears, so I simply went ahead and designed. Well, today because I got that request, I want to do the analysis part and also the design part together in this video. So just relax and understand it. If there will be any questions, kindly drop them in the comment section. I will respond. Well, so today we want to uh, go for the option of beam analysis and design. Just click that. Uh, this is the preview. Then click calculate. Then wait for Tecla to take you uh, to the next point. Alright, it's taking quite a while. Good, it is there. This is the window we take level open for us right and uh, we can set our parameters here the way we want them to be so that we analyze and design well the first thing you do in beam analysis and design is that you set your geometry you simply want to set the span of this beam right uh, by default Tecla is having a beam here which is 8 meters span right 8 millimeters I mean 8,000 millimeters which is simply 8 meters and uh, so you can make changes if you want to like me i want to make changes there so let uh, let me just show you what i did i went to geometry here simply click geometry and length here length of the beam you can just change the length of the beam let me use 600 uh, i mean 6000 which is six meters for this case right uh just key in six meters there then you're done there tecla will do all of the calculations uh the support condition here well you know before you design a beam you have to decide what is your support condition right you want to design this beam to transfer moments to the column or not to transfer moments to the supports or not you know if you want it to transfer moments to the support then you must design it as a restrained beam you must design it as a fixed beam but then if you want it to be simply supported that means you're just designing the beam to carry all the moment right you don't want that moment to be transferred to your supports to your columns right uh, therefore uh, you just come here and set your restraints you know in the vertical direction we don't want this beam to move that means we are going to restrain it in the vertical direction I hope we are all okay with that uh, at every point this point a and point B we are going to restrain it so that it doesn't move then a rotation you know do we want it to rotate yeah 
do you want our beam to rotate? Is it free to rotate at this point? Is it free to rotate at this point in this pl in, in that plane? You know, yeah, we want it to be a, a, a pinned joint. That means it is free to rotate. You know, it can't transfer any moment to the support there. That means it is free. So we're just going to leave it as a free uh, beam here in terms of rotation at these points, right? Uh, that is if you want to design a pinned uh, beam. Now, if you want to design fixed beam, simply click here and say restrained. You can see the changes here. If it is pinned, uh, I want you to notice that if it is if it is free uh, or simply pinned, you you see the sign there. Then, if it is restrained, it changes. Well, so we just want a pinned a pinned connection. We just want a pinned beam, uh, which will not transfer moments to the supports after completing that simply say okay then the next thing you have to really specify is your loads you know Tecla cannot determine the loads for you because uh, different beams are designed for different loads right so you as the designer you should be knowing the loads you really want to design for okay well so just go to loading here what Tecla will do is that after you give Tecla the loads Tecla will do the analysis for you and Tecla will do the design for you okay so simply go here and set your loads so the first thing by default Tecla has already added for you the self weight of that beam right and the self weight Tecla has taken to be dead load of course self weight is a dead load that is okay uh, in a software which doesn't uh, doesn't set uh, self weight by default uh, always be keen that you don't forget the self weight of that member because the members could be heavy uh, so if you ignore the self weight then in all honesty uh, your member could simply fail right so be keen as a designer with that well the next thing we want to do is we want to add some live loads and we also want to add some dead loads right so uh, if you want to add some loads there is an insert load here option here simply hit insert uh, do you want it to be a point load? Do you want to be uh, uh, partially uniform distributed load? Do you want it to be, you know, all these options. You can choose the one you want, right? Uh, we just want a UDL, full UDL. So just say UDL here. Then is it dead or live load? Simply go with dead here. We want, we're going to also set live load, but this one is dead load. Then, uh, Maybe let us say you want to design for a dead load of 5 kN uh, per meter. Then already Tecla has uh, uh, distributed that here, which is so good. Then we also want to add another live load. Uh, so simply uh, come here and change this one to live load now. Impost. Uh, which impost load do you want to design for? Let's say 3 kN per meter. So Tecla has also added that here, right? And then after that I think we are good to go let us just design for those I'm not considering earthquake loads here I'm not considering wind loads in this case I'm not considering snow loads right yeah in cases where in areas where uh, it is uh, earthquake prone or we have a lot of snow you have to really pay attention to those right that will depend on you as a designer for this case let us only go with live load and dead loads after that simply click OK then we go to the next thing you know combinations uh, well combination simply means that these loads uh, don't act uh, separately uh, these loads really act together because you find a time where people are there people live loads and also there are dead loads there so they actually act together so we have to combine these loads they don't act really separately so we have uh, the ultimate condition the ULS and also the SLS SLS is simply uh, serviceability limit states you know serviceability limit states is usually used to check uh, for deflections but then the ULS is used to check for bending uh, yeah bending and uh, all the other severe conditions right so maybe you say that our combination number one is ULS. We want to to define that ULS. Then simply click uh, add combination. Before that, make sure 
that that depends with the code you're using uh, this one is BS8110 so your dead load is having uh, a factor of 1.4 your impost load is having a factor of 1.6 which is correct then your dead load uh, simply that or factor of 1.4 1.6 live load then simply say add uh, then we go to the next one which is uh, SLS SLS here what changes is the factors here so we just need one there just need one serviceability limit states we don't have factors for loads right so then that is okay we are done we have a SLS and ULS then you can just say okay right then redistribution do you want to really redistribute any moment you know we don't need to redistribute any moment I promised to do a video to really explain what redistribution is I will I, in my future videos I'll do a video to explain what redistribution is then simply say okay right then let us go to beam details we want to set uh, the beam details well beam details are actually you know you first of all have to uh, it's kind of uh, you, you have to do an initial selection of a section right then you check that section against the demands you know against the loads which you're applying if the section is sufficient well and good if the section is not sufficient then you just have to pick another section okay well now uh, in this case maybe let us try just a 300 by 500 beam the way it is here let us not change anything here uh, then this covers let us do 25 in all areas both side top and bottom let us just do 25 here uh, this one start the fire resistance uh, let us just go with one hour I'll do a video to check that uh, to, to I'll do a video to show uh, really what this fire thing is uh, then just uh, say okay then the next thing is material details uh, what is your material details you want to use concrete of which class you know I'm going for class 20 that depends with you which concrete you want to use yeah you're the one who is going to do that to check on that this density of concrete uh, we have also characteristics um, uh, yield strength of reinforcement 500 newtons per square millimeters uh, shear reinforcement also 500 newtons per square millimeters uh, then you say okay uh, then we can go to design options uh, where do you want to check your shear from let us say D from this port uh, yeah then maximum allowable distribution just 30 percent but you're not doing distribution in this case so just ignore that say okay then go to section design here well section design here is where we will choose our enforcement we'll see whether our uh, section is okay uh, so the first part here design bending moment Tekla has used your loads and done the analysis to get for you your moment so your design bending moment here is 75.8 kilonewtons kilonewtons meter uh, so top reinforcement uh, we can try you know you don't really require top reinforcement in this case you know you, you need to do that calculation to check whether you require top reinforcement or you don't require here Tekla is saying that no reinforcement required at the top right so that means we just have to provide the nominal reinforcement for anchorage purposes so simply uh, use uh, 12 millimeter bars two of them at both sides for anchorage then the bottom reinforcement uh, let us try a lesser bar diameter because uh, huh, area required technically is saying to be 404 square millimeters and area provided is 628 so it passes but you can try a diameter of 16 and see whether it fails yeah so if you provide T16 then T16 fails you know so you can provide two T20s at the bottom for that case then links here uh, diameter of shearlings you can just choose do you want it to be 10 you want it to be 12 you want it to be you can just choose you know what you want your diameter of links to be uh, then uh, number of 
shear legs we can just go with two I'll do a video to explain what shear legs are uh, it will take some time uh, but I'll do a video to to check that you know uh, so uh, Tekla is telling you that the domino error required is 276 millimeter squared per meter then the area provided is 335 millimeter squared per meter that means our beam is okay in shear our beam is okay in bending so our beam cannot fail right so this is how we do beam analysis and design in Tekla I think I've explained quite enough if there is something which is not clear kindly don't forget to put in the comment section I will obviously read and respond to you uh, so I'm actually done with this design uh, you can say ok to go to the report section this one here is actually the results which Tekla is now giving you bottom reinforcement it's saying ok I share reinforcement it's saying ok so if you are the designer you just say provide uh, this area of steel then also for shear you just direct the people on site to provide a given area of steel and then you can simply say finish to go to the report section uh, well so Tekla has already done everything for you we have the shear force diagrams you have the bending moment diagrams you can see this one here this one here is the bending moment diagram this one is the shear force diagram and all the calculations all the loads you placed in there uh, the section you defined the class placed there and if you come to the last page here this is where we have the calculations uh, it's saying uh, this is for uh, where is uh, bending you know design moment resistance design moment resistance of the rectangular section so Tekla has done the calculations for moment resistance and it has determined that the area is okay and also the area of steel you provided is okay uh, in both bending and shear and it has also checked for your deflection uh, and it's saying per us actual span to depth ratio is within the allowable limit so basically basically I was just showing you an overview how to do the analysis and the design part that is the procedure you have to follow there's some minor details which we can't really explain in this video uh, if you have any questions please don't forget to share them in the comment section I will always go there and respond to them uh, I I intend to really stop here unless there is anything which is very disturbing and uh, yeah I will just have to stop there and remind you that if you really want to see such videos again kindly do subscribe do like this video you can share with other people so that uh, this knowledge reaches as many as possible uh, thank you so much that is the end of this video I will make more and more see you in the next video good people have a good time wherever you are stay safe